Hello, my beautiful people. Today, I am only a messenger. If this information doesn't resonate with you, it is all right. We are all in different paths. We're all in different parts of our journey. Let's begin. Sex. Sex. This subject is extremely important and we need to talk about it. We need more people talking about this subject. Yes, of course, people talk about semen retention. People talk about Kundalini. People talk about everything in the subject of sex, but not a lot of people talk about celibacy. Why is, it, why is it important to practice celibacy? The glowing art, the art that makes you a vibrant human being, that makes you a loving human being, that keeps you in the light. All right, let's begin. Celibacy is extremely important. When you have sex, you are a slave to sex. You can't wait for the next encounter with sex. You allow people into your reality that don't even belong in your reality because of sex. You are allowing more karma into your life because of having different encounters with different people. Sex is a poison to our life. Look at Adam and Eve. What happened to them when they ate the apple? The apple is an allegory for sex. They were kicked out of paradise because they had sex, because they had the apple. Okay? We are in heaven right now. We are in paradise right now. We are in the Garden of Eden. But we keep on having sex. We keep on eating the apple. And we get kicked out. We get kicked out of heaven because of sex. Sex is a poison to us. We need to drop it. We need to stop having so much sex. When we stop having so much sex, we will realize that sex is not that important. Once we understand that sex is not for pleasure, it's for procreation, then we will realize that we don't need stuff. We don't need material possessions. We don't need a big ass house. We don't need cars. We don't need a lot of money. We will stop being slaves to this society. Once we stop being slaves to this society, we will be free. Don't you want freedom? Why did we do all those wars? For freedom. But you are still a slave to sex. You are still a slave to that orgasm, which is enslaving you. Why is this orgasm so important? I'm asking you, why is this orgasm so important? Why is this nut so important to you? Drop it and you will understand how beautiful this world is. You will become a light to this world. And that's what we need. We need more lights. This world needs more lights. So stop having sex. And if you do have sex, practice Kreza. Okay, practice Kreza. Don't ejaculate. That is your essence. That is your life force. That is the key to a beautiful relationship with your partner. That is a key to a beautiful relation to this planet. When you stop having sex, when you stop ejaculating, you will understand information that you never understood. You will read something and you will be able to connect to that content on a spiritual level. Isn't that amazing? You will be able to connect to animals on a spiritual level. They will not be scared of you anymore. Isn't that amazing? Sex is a poison in our life and we need to stop having it. Yes, it is fine to kiss. Yes, it is fine to cuddle. But sex is the poison. When you stop having sex, you will realize that life is so beautiful. You will just breathe. Just be present. You will be present. You won't want anything from anyone. Isn't that beautiful? Not to want anything. Not to care about how many followers you have, how many likes you get. Isn't that beautiful? How much attention you're getting. Isn't that beautiful? 
not being thirsty for anything, just enjoying the present moment, living, living in the now. And that is sex. Sex is the one that kicks you out of paradise, kicks you out of the garden. You need to stop thinking about sex. You need to stop having sex. In just two weeks, you will realize you will realize that. In just two weeks alone of not having sex, two weeks of celibacy, not jacking off, not having sex, none of that. You will understand. You will be able, you will be able to be in flow. Two weeks, that's it. And then, then that's when Kundalini starts happening. That's when your sexual energy starts to rise. Why do you think Nikola Tesla practiced semen retention or celibacy? Mahatma Gandhi, all the beautiful teachers, all the beautiful geniuses of this world, they knew about this information. They knew about life force energy. And that's what makes you a genius. Sex keeps you dumb and dull. And then you will realize that this society doesn't want love. They just want more sex. Once we fix that, we will, we will, we will fix everything. We will fix everything. Sex is the key. Stop having sex and that will be the key. That will be the light. You will become a light to this world. That is my message for today. Practice celibacy at least for two weeks. Practice celibacy at least for a month or two months and you will understand how beautiful it is, how beautiful life is, how charismatic you will become, how much of a magnet you will become to everybody, how much of a light you will become. You will become a sponge for knowledge. You will become this magnetic superhuman being. You will want to work out. You will want to learn, learn, learn. That spark of knowledge will just get you. You will want to learn everything under the sun. That's what happens when you stop having sex. That's what happens when you stop ejaculating. That's what happens when you stop jerking off. That's what happens when you stop watching porn. You want to be a slave? Keep on doing all that stuff. But this is the message that I want to deliver to you. This message came to your reality for a reason. You need this message. I am, I am only a messenger. God, that's how he works. He puts content in front of you when you're ready for that content. The same thing with books. And wouldn't it be nice to be able to connect to that content on a spiritual level instead of reading something and you forget it in two seconds? That's what happens when you practice celibacy, when you practice not having sex. You will connect to everything on a spiritual level. This world is beautiful and I want you to experience this world to the fullest. Why not? We only live once, right? All right, guys, that is my message for today. I love you guys so much and I wish you a life of abundance, love, peace, everything under the sun. Much love. Bye-bye. <laughs>